Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about colorings, like which effects I use to make my own colorings, how you can apply them to your video and uh, how you can save them to reuse them in the future. So let's get started. So how I make my colorings can be very random because um, I just add different effects and hopefully it will work out, but most of the time I use the same 8 or 10 effects and I'm going to quickly just uh, list them all, so mostly I use color corrector, sometimes color corrector secondary, I use color curves, uh, maybe color balance, then I use um, the gradient map, I also like to use the new blue soft focus and I also like soft contrast. So basically these are the only effects I use to make my colorings. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to randomly just drag effects to this icon right here that says video output effects. And I most of the time put my effects right here. I know some people like to put it on the track, but I'm going to show you why that's not such a good idea sometimes. Or you, some people like to add them directly to every single picture but I'm just too lazy to do that. Alright, so let's go back to the effects. And what I do with color corrector a lot of times is decrease the offset, so it gets a little darker, but also increase the gain and the gamma, and also the saturation. Oops, that's too much, because I like to have my colorings colorful. Okay. Then I'm going to add soft contrast and I already have a preset made because I use this a lot. It gives you a little uh, contrast but it's a warm contrast. Okay, so let's add the soft focus and I'm going to make it a little less um, noticeable but since it's a little too blurry I like to compensate with adding sharpen just a little bit, not too crazy. Okay, so after this let's add the gradient map because that will even out the skin tone and the white places that are a little too intense. So let's add this one and you can see it just evens out the skin tone but I'm going to lower it a little bit. Alright, so what I would do now is add color corrector secondary and this will just give a saturation boost to it, uh, these particular settings. I don't usually play with color corrector secondary, I just have a few presets saved and I reuse them. What I really like is color curves because you can have so many different looks with it but now I'm going to add a very simple contrast feel to it like so. And you can click on this split screen view to see what you basically changed. And uh, I'm going to add another gradient map to it, for example this one. But as you can see it has made the coloring a lot darker so I'm going to compensate that again with color curves and add this uh, preset which is a little, it, it adds a little yellow feel to it so I'm going to show you the blue channel real quick to see how to get this effect where the black colors get a little blue and the white colors get a little yellow. So let's click on the blue channel and here we can see which my uh, blue curve looks like and the RGB curve looks like this so I just double clicked uh, it at the very top right here. So that was all that I did with the RGB, I did more with the blue. Okay, and what I also want to uh, talk about is how the order of your effects can change the look of your colorings. So for example, if I move this gradient map to the very beginning, you get a totally different look. So pay attention to the order that you have your effects because sometimes changing it up can actually help and give you a better coloring that you had first. So for example, let's try out this one and I'm going to 
at this right here. So I like this, but as a finishing touch, I usually add a border to it. And I'm, I usually add a black border, so I'm going to drag this to the black and the size is 0, 10 or 0, 1. Okay, so if you're happy with your coloring and you tested out how it looks on your different pictures, then you can maybe save the coloring if you want to. And you can do this with clicking on the video output effects. Make sure that all of your effects are checked if you want to use those effects. Then click on the plugin chain icon. And now click on save as. Um, name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name this tutorial and then click OK and it will appear right here. <laughs> so it will appear right here. And if you want to add this coloring to a future video, you can do this by, um, first of all, I'm going to remove this by right click delete all. So now it's um, empty. And I'm going to add the saved coloring to the project again by clicking on this icon. Look for the coloring that we have saved. Click on it and click add and then OK. And you have added the uh, saved coloring to your video. So as I said before, I prefer to add my uh, coloring effects to this video output effects right on the top of the preview window and not on the tracks because if you have gradient map in your effects, it can cause problems if you add them to your tracks and you have the screen split into different parts. Let me show you what I mean. So if you add your um, coloring to this track, you will see that it kind of hides all the other tracks and the pictures you have on the other tracks because of the gradient map. If you uncheck your gradient maps, you will see that the pictures are okay. But as soon as you add your gradient map, it uh, makes them a lot darker. And if you add the same um, coloring to another to another track it's still not going to give you the same effect as if you would have added the coloring to the icon on the preview window so uh, that's why i prefer to uh, not add my colorings onto the tracks but this only causes you problems if you have a gradient map in your colorings Okay, so that was for coloring for picture videos, but I find it a lot trickier to make a good coloring for videos where you use video clips, because one coloring might look really great on a clip, but the same coloring might look very bad on a different clip. Instead of changing your coloring effects in your uh, coloring, you can add adjustments to your clips that you have a problem with in this particular coloring. So I added this coloring to this project. In this clip, it looks good, but if I go to this clip, you will see that it's a little too red. And if you want to make it a lot less red, you can add a color balance. And you can see I have a preset already uh, saved that's uh, called less red. I'm going to drag this right here. And you can see that uh, I lower the red and I increase the blue. And you can see how it changes your clip without changing your main coloring. If uh, you have a clip that's too dark, you can add brightness contrast, color corrector, or color curves to it to make it less dark, but with this clip it's actually not too dark. But I have this one right here that is a little bit too green and blue. It looks cool, but it doesn't look like the other clips. So if you want to even out the whole video, you are going to need to change this clip. And so instead of changing the coloring right here. We are going to add another color balance to this one, like this. So with this, you can see that I lowered everything a little bit, but I increased the red. As you can see, the greens and blues are a lot um, less. So basically what you did is took away the green and blue and added some red to even out the uh, look. And I have it set to mid-tones because with highlights, it looks like this, with midtones it looks like this, and with shadows it looks like this. So this is one of my tips that uh, 
you shouldn't change the coloring that you have already made and like just add a few adjustment uh, effects to the clip that aren't working as well in this coloring sadly i can't really tell you how you can make a good coloring and a lot of times i find myself struggling so bad to make good colorings but i'm going to show you what i actually added to this coloring so i'm going to make them all disappear by clicking on bypass all and let's go to the very beginning so as you can see i use a ton of different effects for this um, coloring so first of all i added color corrector secondary then again so i'm going to i'm going to quickly go through them so not explaining what i did but to give you a general idea which effects i use for video coloring then a basic gradient map then another color corrector secondary the soft contrast that i used for the picture video color corrector which basically i just added a little bit saturation which i did with <laughs> this one too so i used two effects instead of one i don't know why um, the basic gradient map again to get rid of the glowing part another gradient map which you can see it added a little kind of sepia effect <laughs> and i'm explaining myself even though i said i want okay so the color corrector again uh, which added a lot more contrast so the yellow parts are a lot brighter with this another saturation adjust which gave a lot more color to the coloring another color corrector a convolute i can't <laughs> pronounce this and i don't even really know how to use this i just did some random things with the um, uh, settings right here and then at the end i added my border so that's all i did for this so you can see that i use these same effects that i use for picture videos but i kind of used a lot more and um, with a little less um, dramatic changes these were all the things i wanted to say about colorings i don't think i'm too good at colorings but it's all about experimenting and trying out new settings and it's gonna be different for everyone else because everyone likes different colorings someone like their colorings very subtle some people like them to be very intense and it's all good because you are the one who have to like the end result so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any more questions please leave them in the comment section below and i'm going to talk to you guys hopefully soon bye guys